In this video, I will show you how to make unique style looking speakers who looks and sounds awesome. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need two 4 inch size full range speakers. I decided to go with this 15 watt Audio Labs high quality speakers who sounds full, crystal clear, they have a nice bass and nice look. For powering these speakers, I chose this 50 watt mini Bluetooth amplifier from the Noob Sound. This mini amplifier can be purchased with or without power supply, as it can work from 9 to 24 volts DC. It's quite easy to find something that works with it. Even some old 60 watt laptop power brick can do the job. Audio input can be over USB 3.5 mm plug or the Bluetooth 4.0, so it's a quite flexible and compact amplifier and very powerful for its size. We also going to need the four speakers terminals and some speaker wire. Links of all components used in this video you can find in video description. To build or should I say to 3D print speaker enclosure, I chose to use a printer pure filament which will give us that unique wood looking finished surface that we can sand, polish or paint later on. Review of this printer pure filament you can find on my channel as well. For printing speaker enclosure besides filament and STL files, you need a quite a big 3D printer and my personal recommendation is Creality CR10S, which is fantastic 3D printer for its size, print quality and price. If you are into 3D printers, make sure that you check my Creality reviews on my channel. For printing these speakers in any wood filament, slow printing speed is a way to go, as high print speed can lead to the nozzle clogs because of the high percentage of the wood particles inside the filament. So this can take a while. First speaker enclosure came out great and I was very happy with the results as both sides of the enclosure came out perfectly. Now you may be satisfied with the look and color of the filament at this point, but as this is a wood filament, I use a piece of sandpaper and I sand both inner and outside of the spiral to make it look more realistic. You don't need to sand quite a lot here, just a tiny bit to get that smooth surface that you can apply oil, lac or any other wood finish of your choice. I chose to apply this wood lac in a medium brown color as it will make speaker to look more like a real piece of wood. After few passes in this wood lac, I left a few hours to dry and the results was beautiful. Now it looks more like an actual piece of wood. I chose mine to stay like this, but if you wish to have even more glossy look surface, then spraying few layers with a transparent lac should do the job. Now it's time to connect the speakers, so I installed the speaker terminal. I cut the small piece of the speaker wire from the enclosure. I remove insulation and I split wire one for each of the speaker terminal. Then I solder each wire to the speaker terminal and I make sure that the speaker wire is long enough so that later I can solder other end to the speaker terminals. Then I try out how the speaker will fit and I designed and print a ring in a flex filament that will make nice air seal around the speaker with the enclosure. This will prevent any air leaks and lower the vibration. Then I cut the pillow and I take polyfill which I add inside the speaker enclosure. This will provide deeper bass and better sound overall on non-ventilated enclosure like this one. For the record I did try other speaker without added polyfill and it sounds a bit thin and hollow. So adding the polyfill inside this enclosure is highly recommended. Now the last step is applying the glue. Make sure that you use non-fast curing glue so that you have time to add glue on the whole surface nice and slow. I add glue closer to the inner side of the edge so there no glue would leak to the painting surface of the speaker. Of course if you worry that the glue might leak then it's better that you glue speaker enclosure first and then sand it and paint on the last. After closing both sides of the enclosure I attach clamps and I left glue to cure over the night. In the morning I take off all clamps and I was very happy with the results. It was perfect and no glue leak outside of the enclosure. Now I found that the real metal spikes or speaker stands are quite expensive so I designed my own spikes and I print them with my Flash Forage 3D printer in ABS. After I print all 6 spikes I sprayed them in a gold color and I left them few minutes to dry and then apply another layer. They turn out great and I installed them to the enclosure and I add some glue to make them more secure. 
Now the wires can be soldered to the speaker terminal. Pay attention that you don't mismatch speaker polarity, as the sound quality will be weird and baseless. Make sure that you add the rubber ring to block any air leaks, and then gently screw down the speaker to the enclosure. If you have no label speaker wires, or you just want to check polarity of the speaker, here's how you can do it in most easy way without multimeter. Just take one AAA battery and connect it like this. If the speaker membrane is kicking out, that means the positive polarity of the speaker is matching positive polarity of the battery. If you connect battery in the reverse, the speaker membrane will kick backwards and if you connect it like that to the amplifier, the sound will be distorted and not pleasing to listen. At this point, you probably think how well this speaker sounds and now it's time for the sound test over the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. The best microphone that I have is a Blue Yeti, so I hope that will pick up at least some of the sound quality that comes from these awesome speakers. Enjoy! Well, I hope that you can hear at least some of that sound quality that comes from these speakers. In live, they sound much better. I would describe it as a full rich sound, the hikes sounds crystal clear with the warm mids and the good bass. Overall, a very good sound quality with almost no distortion even at a very high volume levels. I think that these speakers looks and sounds brilliant. They are definitely something special, in my personal opinion. Links of all parts and the components I will leave in a video description and if you found this video interesting, feel free to like it and share it with your friends. Thanks for the watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.